Hello and welcome to another News Roundup where we bring you all the biggest gaming stories from Monday the 16th to Sunday the 22nd of July. We'll kick off with a tiny piece of huge news. Rockstar has all but confirmed the sequel to the incredible Red Dead Redemption. And when we say they've confirmed it, what we actually mean is they've told us to stay tuned. And frankly, that's enough for us. Continuing with the sequel theme, EA first accidentally confirmed, then confirmed Battlefield 4. The title was mentioned on the Origin store and in the most recent trailer for Medal of Honor 3, which promised beta access in exchange for pre-orders of Warfighter, EA's slightly less exciting FPS ugly sister. While this is bad news for anyone hoping for Bad Company 3, it's great news for anyone who loves endless comparison videos. In other shooter news, Microsoft has confirmed that the Halo 4 themed Xbox 360 will cost a chunky £269. For this, you'll get the console, two controllers and a headset. You also get a 320GB hard drive, crucial for handling that massive 8GB install. And get this, the light is blue, not green! And if that's not worth paying over the odds for a 10 year old console, we don't know what is. The bundle is available for pre-order now and it orbital drops in stores November 6th, so stay tuned for an unboxing video in the near future, assuming Microsoft hasn't watched this video. More footage from Naughty Dogs of The Last of Us survived this week, introducing a grizzled new character named Bill. From what we can tell, there's some history between him and Joel, but that doesn't stop him handcuffing recently refaced heroin Ellie to a pipe. This comes in the same week that game director Bruce Strahley promised that the gritty survivor map will expand gaming narratives in all sorts of new, non-cutscene ways. In other Sony news, pictures of the redesigned PS3 have appeared on the Antel website, a Brazilian agency in charge of telecommunications. The single grainy shot shows off the new top-loading disc tray, and more worryingly, the fact that the machine appears to be built from corrugated cardboard, assuming this picture is actually real. So congratulations to Sony for making a machine even uglier than the original PS3 bread bin. Next up, Metal Gear Solid 5 is real, or perhaps completely fake. A leaked image suggested that a true stealth sequel is on the way, hinting that Kojima's secret project Ogre actually stands for Open Ground Reconnaissance Endeavours. What does that mean? We have no idea, but it could replace the traditional tactical espionage action tagline. Unfortunately, Kojima has since said the logo is completely fake, apologising to all fans that got excited, but some have suggested that this may be a double bluff. Stay tuned for more rumour and conjecture as we get it. Now for some news that's definitely not an excuse to show you a few sexy ladies. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 is offering swimsuit DLC for anyone who pre-orders the fighty sequel. Producer Katahiro Harada has previously said that he won't charge fans for DLC costumes or characters, possibly a dig at his Capcom buddy Ono-san, so you'll be getting your Tekken Speedos for free. Best of all, the costumes aren't just for the ladies, meaning that you might get to see fan favourite Kuma rocking a snug mankini. Bearkini. Whatever. Rumours are circulating that Final Fantasy Vs. XIII may have been canned after a long, secretive development cycle. Sources are unverified, but Kotaku claims that the project was cancelled months ago, with the dev team moving on to the unannounced Final Fantasy XV. Squeenix is staying tight-lipped, but in March a designer at the studio said they were almost done preparing with the latest info for the game. We're hoping the latest info wasn't it no longer exists. And if sprawling adventure games are your thing, click the video now to watch the adventures of Olaf in our Skyrim video feature. On a semi-related note, click here to watch the 8 things to do in Skyrim before you die, or here for our Sleeping Dogs preview if you want something a bit more modern. Some Dead Space 3 news now, and it sounds like EA want to take the shocks out of survival horror in their upcoming sequel. <laughs> we promise we haven't made this up, but EA Games marketing boss Laura Meal recently said that they've added co-op because the single player games were too scary. The movie is intended to reach consumers too scared of Dead Spaces 1 and 2, presumably by turning the franchise into an entirely different game. Stay tuned for Dead Space 4 news, where the necromorphs have been replaced with French Bulldogs, and it all takes place in Sunshine Candy Planet. Some big news for Sleeping Dogs now. A host of Hollywood voice talent has been announced for United Front's tattooed open worlder, adding some AAA weight to the rescued true crime game. Lucy Liu, Tom Wilkinson, Kelly Hugh, and my future wife Emma Stone all add some vocal muscle to the game, proving that it's about more than just ramming heads on tables and throwing people on swordfish. And finally this week, loyal viewer Alex, and we're assuming fan of tanks, guns, and green, has said via Facebook, Black Ops will probably be a huge disappointment again. I'm fed up with their linear plots and no option to choose how you achieve the mission. Well, Alex, we have some good news. Black Ops 2 will allow for non-linear choices to be made throughout the campaign, with your choice having a direct effect on the game's plot. For more on this and all things Black Ops 2, check out our rumour roundup by hitting the screen now. And remember, if you have any burning questions about an upcoming game, just leave a question below and we'll do our best to investigate. That's all we've got for you this week, but stay tuned to CVG for more news, reviews and previews, and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.